Hello, <coughs> hello and welcome. This is Jilly Cube. I'm here in Queensland, Australia. Um, I'm leaving this here because I previously just did a dip on parchment paper. So I don't want to move the parchment paper because the paint's wet and it will just run. So it, it's kind of stuck down and I'm going to leave it there because I'm going to put my canvas over the top of this and just leave that to dry. That turned out a beautiful piece on the parchment paper, but also a beautiful piece in the dip that I did on this lovely 40 centimetre round. So that one will be up also on my YouTube channel. So don't miss that because it was so exciting. I did chop and change it, but I'm really happy with the results. So hence, I just want to leave my parchment paper there to let it dry. So I've got another 40 by 40 canvas and I'm going to just put it over the top. It won't make any difference. I'm not really going to move. Oh, I suppose I could get drips, couldn't I? Never mind. It's OK. If I don't save it, I don't save it. Um, and today I think I'm going to have a go with using my catalyst wedges. These ones, they were a set. I think I got all these ones like from Montmartre really cheap like less than ten dollars for all the different effects that you can do in your paint i'm just going to use these to embellish not to do the whole painting this is a proper catalyst wedge which these are a lot more expensive i've got oh different ones there that one's probably you know catalyst wedges so i've got that and i've also got this soft plaid little duvalaki that's got different shapes also um, a knit comb, a Nitty Nora the Bug Explorer. Knit comb does really nice effects in canvas. And this is a, um, oh, what do you call it? A icing, icing, you know, for cake icing, doing different effects. So that does a really nice. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in with those, but just as a, probably a final embellishment. But to start off with, I am going to, Oh, yeah, this is going to end up going over the edge, but you know, if I pick if I pick the paint up paper up, I'll ruin it anyway. So it's like um, devil if devil if you do and devil if you don't. Damned if you do and damned if you don't. That's the word. So I'm just going to give very light. I'm not going to worry about the underneath because I can fix it up with a few balloon kisses after. I'm pretty sure. So. Otherwise, the paper would have been just thrown away anyway, so see if we can save it. Right here, I just, you don't have to do this base coat, you can just use your paint, to, your pouring paint, to go over, blow it over the edges or tilt over the edges, whatever you choose. But for this particular one, I'm going to put that on there. going to use some yummy colours that I have here. I'm going to use this is a um, oh metallic plum. I'm only gonna really put colour down in this area on the corner of my canvas. So that's metallic plum. And then I'll go the dioxazine, dioxazine purple, is it? Yeah, something like that. Sort of working with the purpley lilac and colours. And I will add this little bit of gold left here which is the this one's a Montmartre gold and it's um, like they're pouring paint gold but it's so shimmery and shiny it's beautiful I'm thinking I might use that as well to blow out I'm gonna it's really nice classy colors aren't they it's lovely now do I put in or do I ruin it by putting in, ooh, I hope not. 
is the yellow deep, but I just really hope that I haven't um, wrecked it by doing that. Um, what was the next thing I wanted to do? I can't think now. I, I often thought, I wonder what that would look like dipped. Anyway, Ugh, I'm, I'm thinking way ahead of myself. So what I want to do is I want to blow some of this paint up here. So to give it a really nice sort of, or do I want to blow it or do I want to use the, um, the, the catalyst wedges? Put a bit of white in here. Right, so I might just get this again to make sure it's got like a really good coat on there that's gonna cover the, make the canvas uh, pliable like the paint fluid underneath so it gives you more working time with it than if the paint's dry but those colors are just beautiful i was going to hand a lot more color to that but i think i'll try and restrain myself and not add more color um i did want to blow it up once but i just try to blow it upwards let's see what i get Hopefully it doesn't go muddy. Just want to blow the edges. Oh, that's lovely and soft. That gold is so nice. Oh, I don't wanna. Ah, oh. oh, I didn't wanna do that, you silly jilly. That's okay. Oh, that's that is lovely that's was a little bit I went a little bit overboard there but you know you can't cry over spilt milk just push on so let's try um, I might try this so just a few okay oh that's so nice so nice See if I can break that duvalaki up. Just take it slow so you don't do anything you regret. Beautiful effect on it. That's really lovely. It looks like ribbon. I like it. I like it. Ooh. I'll bring you down closer to see this because it's very nice. So like I say, you can have a go with all of those different wedgies. Uh, different tools to see what you like best or you could use all of them on a piece on its own but that is beautiful I do like it. just not happy with this bit here but I could try blowing it out but this the colors are just boom um, I just probably need to blow it a bit over my edges there rather than Beautiful. That's gorgeous. Just that bit there. What can I do there? Could I add a little bit more purple maybe? Now I'm probably gonna stuff it up. Oh Lordy Lordy. Put a bit of gold in, hey? Oh, wish me luck. Wish me luck on. Just put the dryer on very low. Oh, I think I think.
think that looks better than it did. I think so. I mean, I would love to balloon here, but I know I get so much criticism for ballooning my work, but that's what I do, so. And I always sell those pieces, so something must be right. Those colors are really, really sensational together. I really want to balloon that, but I'm going to bring you down, have a look at it, see what you think. Uh, it doesn't look so good from this angle, I'll show you how I'm seeing it. So, yeah, I think, so look at these. Oh, I've got this flickering on my camera, so I'm not sure if it's got, because I've got the air conditioning on in here. I, I much prefer that love these effects look from the wedges that one's gorgeous look at that could do a whole piece in that but i'm pretty happy with that but i am going to push on and do a few balloon kisses and those of you that do not like balloon kisses you can look away now my art my rules my way <laughs> I'm going to experiment a little bit further. You'll probably go crazy. I'm just going to see what a few chain pulls instead of balloon kisses. They're dry chain pulls. It might mess it up, but I can correct it, I believe, with my balloon. Kind of gives a nice effect. Um, but I think, I think I prefer my balloon. So let's do my signature on this piece, righty. Oh, here we go. Beautiful. Ah, oh, yes. It is lovely. Love it, love it, love it. Wow. Actually, I should be doing my balloon kisses on this piece of paper, on this parchment paper. There you go. Oh, what am I doing? Still got me lovely gecko. My good luck gecko. My good luck gecko. So I don't think it needs many. I think that will be it. Beautiful. <laughs> Just a tiny little balloon just gives a really nice finish like a more um, detailed finish in the center of your balloon kiss I'm gonna use that blue in there Wow Like I said, you can use these balloon kisses onto a piece of cardstock and make your own gift cards. That's gorgeous. Love it. That's enough. That's beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Having fun using those wedges. I have to do a piece where I actually just use the wedges all the way to see which each one creates and try and make a piece out of that. Just want to make sure I get that covered. It'll, the paint will sink, it sort of absorbs into the canvas and always drops, seems to dry quite nicely. So, love it, love it, love it. Wait on for the photos at the end. Tell me what you guys think and of the colours too. We went to a small bar with neon lights. Talked about everything that was on our mind. Talking to you gave me butterflies. And you took my hand, said, let's leave now. 